This is the point in the program on the program where I introduce our guest, uh, Analyst, who's here to give her perspective on nearly everything we've covered on the show. And today I'm joined here in the studios by the political affairs uh, commentator and Arise News Analyst, Dr. Constance Ikoku. Good to see you and thanks for your time. Good to uh, see you too. Good. Actually, we started off by talking about the service chiefs uh, and we had uh, a veteran journalist who spoke to us from our legal studios quickly. And some of the key things will be about reform in the Nigeria police, which he said uh, is very key. Uh, speak to us on what uh, you got gathered from the out the former Inspector General of Police, who said that he's leaving the police better than he met it, and the new chap who's uh, there says uh, that he's ready to go all out and fish out the, the bad guys. Well, I'm sure that many Nigerians will disagree with the outgoing Inspector General of Police saying that he met the police force better. Uh, well, he left it better than he met it. Um, the thing is, if there's one area that Nigerians need a lifeline, it is security. You know, it is protection, defense, and public safety. I mean, the past couple of years has been um, disastrous, you know, uh, to a huge proportion for many people. And so they are looking forward to see something new, to see that the security team rejects uh, the entire security architecture to give people a new leaf of life. So now we have a new team. The president has appointed the Inspector General of Police. Um, there is a new Army, chief, uh, uh, Army uh, chief of Staff, Navy, Air Force, and a new National Security Advisor. So let's start from the National Security Advisor. is, is expected to um, guide and advise the president on security related matters. And of course, there might be other responsibilities such as, you know, assessing, you know, uh, threats to the country, analyzing the intelligence reports, coordinating different security agencies. In the past, we have had reports that said that there are infight, or there were infighting among the security agencies. A country which faces both internal and external threat you cannot afford to have that kind of situation. So Nigerians are really anticipating that there will be results, rapid results actually we need in this uh, sector of the country. And for the police, because uh, this is not the first time Nigerians have had uh, police chiefs and uh, even analysts like yourself talk about reform of the police. Uh, what kind of difference uh, are we likely to see in the, in the man who's got uh, not too long, you know, to be on the job? Because we understand that he has about 14 months to, to work with us as Inspector General of Police. 14 months is a long time. Um, uh, security is a continuum, right? Your first speaker spoke about the man having ro uh, risen through the ranks. Uh, that means he knows what he's doing. Uh, 14 months is enough time to put together his own team and to do something different. Um, people are looking forward to see uh, protection from the police, maintaining public order, um, detecting and preventing crime. Um, that's a, a huge uh, area of criminality all over the country. We're facing different types of conflicts, whether it's low-level con conflict, mid-level, and high-level, you know, varying degrees. Yeah. So people are really waiting to see. You know, he's actually beating his chest saying, I'm going to do so much more. Yes, that's what we, we anticipate. People are looking forward to someone who is excited about the job and who will really do the job. And for uh, Godwin Etaki Buebu, he spoke about the oil theft in Niger Delta, where he also specifically said uh, that uh, what Asari Dokubu said, apart from the 90%, which he thinks was highly exaggerated, uh, are correct. And he thinks that the president should look keenly into uh, that region and the sector. What more can these new crop of security chiefs do to ensure that uh, what can the kind of allegation that Asari has uh, and others have leveled against them and some of their uh, staff uh, is taken care of. It's interesting that your first guest uh, said that Asari spoke well. 
after that press conference, I think it's at the villa, um, a lot of Nigerians were dismayed that he was given a press conference in the villa. Um, we've not seen this kind of thing before. You would have expected that maybe he goes to a hotel or somewhere else, hires it, and gives press conference. He was talking. I mean, he saw the president, so that means he's very close to the president. That apart, oil theft is a big problem. In 2022, I think we lost about 1.76, about 1.7 trillion naira on oil theft. And what your guest said, he said, it can be done. Yeah. I agree completely with him. If we want to stop oil theft, it's possible. Why don't we use technology? We're in a world where technology can be applied to anything. Apply technology. We are not the first country that produces oil. There are so many countries mm. around the world that produce oil. Go and learn how they track their own oil vessels and how they stop criminality. Arrest people. Fire people. I think you perhaps you also heard him. Sorry to cut you there. He, he said we have the equipment, but somehow the allegations are that they switch it off. Uh, for the operation to, to be carried out. So, so who is switching it off? Somebody needs to leave the job. Somebody needs to let to be let go. And um, you know, it's about the seriousness and the sincerity fighting cor in fighting corruption. If we are really serious to stop oil theft, it can be stopped. We're not the first country in the world that has done it. It's possible. I remember when uh, the current National Security Advisor, Malam Nuhu Ribadu, was the EFCC chairman. He dealt with uh, similar issues. And he did say that with technology, that we can really clean out that system. So we're watching the president to see whether you know, he really wants to talk. Fire everybody. Recruit new people. Get the place running. Yes, it's possible. Dr. Constance Ikoku, many thanks <laughs> for speaking with us. Well, you've heard it. Fire everybody and get a new team. Well, that's it for this edition of Arise Prime Time. Do join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Goodbye and thanks for watching.